Keisha has 0.6 liters of seawater in a container. She pours 25 milliliters of seawater into 18 different test tubes. How many liters of seawater are left in the container? So our goal is to find out how many liters are left in the container with our key numbers being 0.6 liter container and 25 milliliters in 18 tubes each. So I see milliliters, I see liters, so once again, a unit conversion problem. So first let's see how many milliliters is that 0.6 liter container. So I know one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So our goal is to try to figure out what 0.6 liters is. So I really don't know how I could get from one to 0.6, but I do know if I do 1 divided by 10, I can get to 0.1. And then from 0.1, if I do times 6, I can get to 0.6. So what you to do to one side, you must do to the other. So let's divide by 10 first. That would be 100 milliliters. And then we times by 6 we're gonna get 600 milliliters. So now we know the size of the container in milliliters. Now let's figure out how many milliliters they poured into those 16 test tubes. So if one container, if one tube is 25 milliliters, and we have 18 tubes, I know one times 18 equals 18, and what you do to one side, you do to the other. So 25 times 18, what does that equal? So eight times five is 40, put the zero, count it to four. Eight times two is 16, plus four is 20, let's correct that to four. And then we, now we're just multiplying by one. So that would be 450 milliliters. So we already know the size is 600 milliliters and we used 450 milliliters. So the remaining will be 150 milliliters.